All right, folks, thanks again for joining uh, today. The opportunity of what we're going to discuss uh, really is the start of what I call getting back to the basics. So you got to be able to crawl before you walk, walk before you run. And here in this beauty of the independent world, I'll share with you just some things. Uh, so I've done a presentation before on the uh, beauty of the independent model. But what I wanted to really share with you is that in order to get all of this down, you're not going to get it all up front. And I don't want you to feel discouraged because this all takes time. Uh, me being in the industry for 16 years, it still takes time for me to learn some of the additional stuff. But as you can see, some of the stuff that we offer, guaranteed income, tax reduction strategies, college funding, tax-free retirements. Uh, we're gonna focus today on mortgage protection type plans, which is like your term insurance. Uh, but we're also going to look at the site where you can do pretty much all of this in one simple place. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at the three mark site, which uh, is very easy to get to. Uh, so I'll pull it up here and you'll see in the top, it says threemark.com. So once again, a very easy website to get to. Now to understand why Bill Resch is a Valor Financial Specialist, why we use Threemark, uh, it's very easy. So when you think about a hierarchy structure and how things are set up, there are key phraseology uh, features in the insurance industry that you need to understand. So an IMO is usually at the top and there's about four or five IMOs in the country. Uh, Crump, IDA, Libra, just to name a few, uh, are these big IMOs. And what they do is they get multiple, what we call BGAs or broker general agencies together to basically leverage all the premiums that they put into these insurance carriers to get the highest contracts possible to then go back to the producer and give them the best compensation possible. Well, inside these BGAs, so you think 3Mark Financial is a BGA, they're offering a program for agencies like myself to allow the opportunity for you guys to get the services you need. So case design, point of sale, expertise in one stop shop, but all the licenses, you have a case manager as well inside 3Mark to provide you with that back office support. So you don't need to staff anyone. You don't need to worry about that. You can be uh, you know, small but mighty per se. And so where you get a lot of the information here is on the 3 Mark portal. So first and foremost, when you get started, you want to hit register. And when you do that, you'll put in your information here. And what I always say is, is that whoever refers you, just make sure you put them in here. So I always tell people when I'm referring them, put Valor Financial Specialist, Producer. You put everything in and then you hit register. There's no FINRA, there's no secure LC, no nothing here. This is to just get you on the site to get you some information. So I'm gonna log in with my master login that I've already created and you get this site. Now on this site, there's a lot of different value propositions that you have available at your fingertips to give you everything you need to service your clients. First off, we want to talk about optionality and choice. Well, when you look at our carriers here, the reason why I like the three mark portfolio suite is they have both sides of the house when you think of general agencies. One side is typically what you would call an MGA or a master general agency, which they usually have about three or four carriers, not too many. And then you have a BGA, which has 30 plus carriers. Well, 3Mark actually has both sides. So like AIG Partners Group 
They also have regular, well, they call it core bridge, but they're the same company, just two different products. One has living benefits, one does not. You also think of mostly the time when you have an MGA, they would use companies like American National, uh, National Life Group, uh, also called Life of Southwest, depending on who you talk to. But then you have the traditional brokerage companies like your uh, Corbridge, you have John Hancock, you have Lincoln, you have Prudential, some protective. So they have everything here. So what do you have? You have optionality, you have choice, and the ability to not lose a client because they found a different product elsewhere. If you have a client who likes whole life, we have that too. You have traditional ULs, you have IULs, which is the normal of what we've seen sold today, second to die policies or second to die index policies, which are great for legacy planning, annuities. If you have clients who have retired, have an old 401k that they're not using, have left a job and they have an old 401k or an IRA that they're really not managing, Annuities are a great place to reposition those assets where they will not lose any money ever again, and you have an upside opportunity. Traditional disability, I want you to understand one thing. If you sell carriers that have living benefits, they do not take the place of what you would have a traditional disability policy for, especially if you deal with doctors, dentists, attorneys, CPAs, they have a very niche product or a very niche situation where they need a form of traditional disability. Traditional disability covers things like mental concerns, back pain, which you can't really see in a, you know, a scan and things like that versus your living benefits from your life insurance policies where chronic or critical illness is like heart attack, stroke, cancer. So they're more critical things than a traditional disability policy. So if you have a situation, a doctor or a dentist, definitely feel free to discuss it with me. We can work through the process. Traditional long-term care isn't sold as much, but it's good to know that you have it just in case. And if you want to get quotes for those, for example's sake, if you want a quote for disability, through our partnership at 3Mark, we partner with a group that only does disability called North Central DI. You can do 3Mark at North Central DI, or you can talk to, uh, his name's not on here, but Todd Shield is the uh, director of the North Central DI and our partner in helping you get the right quotes for your clients. Same thing for long-term care. If you need a traditional long-term care, we have this email address. Or if you want to reach out to me, there is a specific person named Jackie Slaughter who works for Senior Market Sales who can get you the quotes you need. So you don't have to know everything. You just need to know where to find the information. When we also look at quotes here, if you want to request an annuity quote, I will not refer you here. There's a gentleman under the quotes tab or under the annuities tab here who can help you out with that. His name is Bo, great guy. Now, I'll just share with you, if you're looking for term quotes, as I mentioned, part of the story today is how can you run multi-carrier term quotes in one spot? So if you saw, I went to quotes and I clicked on term UL quotes, if I just clicked on this quotes tab here, it'll go here. And then you go to the term and permanent quotes, hit quote now, and it'll bring you to the same spot. Okay. So it just depends on how you want to get there. But if I go to the second option here and I go to vital quote, term and GUL comparisons, I'm going to hit launch vital quote, and it'll bring me into EBIX, which will give me the opportunity to run several carriers at one time. So if you're in more of like a PNC type atmosphere and you're looking at pricing for clients, 
Maybe they have to do collateral assignments or things like that, and they're looking for dirt cheap term. We can offer that. So you just click on full quote here. We'll use good old Phil Resch or Fee Resch. No, we'll do Phil Resch. And let's just say he's 41, living in Tennessee, wants a million dollars, going to pay monthly. And let's just go with standard non-tobacco. The cool thing is here is I can actually illustrate, let's say 500K and 750 as well. So I can illustrate up to three at one time. And I'm gonna do 20 years. So it gives me all the carriers that are available for a 20 year term in one spot. So if I wanna do the quick report, or I click here, there's a whole slew of options. You can do list report, which will give you everything. You can do top eight. I like list report just because it shows that I can do a ton of carriers at one time. And what you'll see here is it'll give columns. It'll have a million dollars first, or it might be 500, 750, and then a million. Uh, but it's generating all the quotes for you in one spot. So you'll see 500K is the start for a 41-year-old standard non-tobacco, 20 years, gives the ratings or the Comdex scores. Now, what you'll see here is a lot of times what might be good for me might not be good for you. I say that because these carriers more than likely will not qualify me for a standard non-tobacco. So that's where underwriting comes in or a future presentation that we'll have on how to be a good field underwriter because every client is different. So if you ask the questions, you'll find the right carriers for them. But here you'll see what I call termites, AIG select a term, not the QOL product, but the regular brokerage product, banner, protective. This pack life is not the normal pack life. This is actually the pack life uh, engine bought from Genworth. So they bought Genworth's term engine and that's a separate subsidiary product but Pack Life owns it. So there's not very many conversion privileges. This Swift term from Symmetra, I got a 51 year old approved for $3 million in a day, no medicals, but the conversion privileges aren't really there. So when you talk about these companies, these top five, the conversion privileges aren't great, but the premiums you're fighting over pennies and are better when it comes to just paying the lowest possible premium. So once again, understanding the needs of your clients for future benefit as well as current benefit also are important. So if we look at 500K, AIG is the top banner, same price, but A stands for AIG is alphabetically before B for banner. So uh, if we scroll down, we'll see once again, more options and opportunity. Um, but then we go even more 500K. So now 750 banner jumps over AIG by some pennies. And so does Symmetra. So does Protective. So that's the thing is different cells for different carriers are ranked differently. So once again, when you have a client who says, well, I wanna do a million dollars, but maybe I wanna do 500,000, my recommendation is always start with the highest number and work your way down if you need to. Um, and so depending on which carrier you go with, it could depend on the pricing. But once again, you're looking at literally pennies of a difference between these carriers at the top. And then just going to a million, we'll just see if it's still the same. Million, banner's still the top, but now AIG is tied. And then you have one penny difference between protective. So once again, it really boils back to underwriting. How fast can you get it in? How fast can you get it out? Is it the right product for your client? More importantly, um, you know, because some of these carriers might give preferred where others might give standard. And really, when it boils down to it, they look at two things. 
underwriting and they look at pricing. So anytime you have an insurance carrier, it's an art and not a science. But as I tell people today, we have 30 different artists ready to paint different canvases for your clients. So they get to pick the one that they like the most. So that's a little insight on how you can run term quotes quickly and with a lot of carriers. If I wanted to, I could remove some of those carriers too. Personally speaking, I would remove the AIG selected term. Why? Because I would show that as a pricing sale. But if I wanted to show the quality of life product, they're not going to be on a spreadsheet, but there's living benefits attached to it. And I can explain the difference why I would pay more for something slightly different than just a regular term. Living benefits, the huge conversation. You could even compare it to cell phones, like how many of us have Apple or Samsung phones when there's still flip phones available. Flip phones are cheaper but we pick a more expensive option because it has more value to it. So same thing with the insurance, can someone or will someone pay a little bit more for more value? And there are lies to question. So we'll do this one on a separate day. This is your multi-carrier illustrations for permanent insurance. Uh, I've already done it once. Uh, on the YouTube channel, there should be a separate one to show illustrations in a multi-carrier environment, but we will do it again because as I said, we're starting from the beginning and we're gonna work our way through it again. But under the tools and resources tab, this is where you'll have a couple unique features. Um, for example, say training modules. So if you are new to the site and you wanna go through a couple training modules, like how to view your cases inside the smart view, how to do the quoting system. So that thing I just showed you, WinFlex, sure I'll see how to get contracted and x-ray. We're going to talk about those here today. So if I go to forms and I go, this is where I would get forms and submit business. Now, if you are contracted through 3Mark, you want to submit all cases through the three mark portal because then your case manager will see your business. If you opt to submit a case on the carrier site, then email a copy of the application to the case manager so she can upload it to the system. Now you'll see a couple spots here, a basic search and I go e app. So let's say you submitted a case already and then they said, Hey, we need this travel questionnaire or we need this bank form or something like that. So say I submitted like North American, for example, say new business, we'll go to Tennessee, we'll do term and we'll do the advantage Gen 9. Now you'll see a giant thing here saying you can do it in IGO. It'll even say start IGO here. It's kind of tricky. They're trying to push everyone to IGO. But if I just need a form, right below it, get PDF forms package. And this will pull up all the forms that are completely separate. So if I need an EFT form, I'll just do my little control F, EFT, and there it is. I can open up just this one form and I can get this one form signed if that's what's missing from the original application or the client opted to do EFT on the back end. So you can get the form yourself through the site. If, for example, say you are doing a new case, you're going to submit business, you can go to the IGO eApp tab and hit log in right here. And it'll look like a lot of other people's sure I'll see sites or their, their sites, to, I should say IGO sites to submit business. If I hit start new case, it will pull up this site and I'll just say Phil Resch, 12, 22, 1981, male, and Tennessee. And let's say, for example's sake, I want to do term. So I'll click on term, and I'll hit find available products. And as you can see here, I've got all the carriers at my fingertips all the different term products that are available, 
through this platform. So most, actually almost all of them are roughly the same. You'll just have different nuances for different carriers, but for the most part, they're pretty much the same. Now, if I wanted to do an IUL, I click on Index Universal Life, find available products, and it will show me your IULs. You have carriers that have a long process, like the full app. They also have a Link Express. What that means is, is less work for me as a producer, more work for the client. So someone will call them up, do a phone interview, and fill out all the, the dirty questions, like, have you taken heroin before? This one, you would fill out the full application. So it's different. Now, some of you might say, well, hey, I've done business with Corbridge in the past, or AIG. Why are they not in here? Well, for some reason, they're under the Universal Life tab. So you have your Max Acume, you have your QOL Max Acume. So they're all they're all here. I, I don't know why. So in any event, if you don't see it in the Index Universal Life tab, just check the Universal Life tab too, uh, and you can go from there. And there are plenty of other options or opportunities here but most of them are going to derive from the term in the Index Universal Life. Coming in the future this year, I was told we will also get Firelight for annuities, so you can submit all your business in one place as well. So more to come on that later on, because as of right now, we still submit it directly on the carrier site. Someone asked uh, if I could show the forms again. So once again, Tools and Resources, Forms and IGO. And then I click launch forms and I go, it starts you off at this page. So if I wanted to, for example, say, you know, pick North American, new business, Tennessee, cause that's where I'm at, term life, and then add Vantage Gen 9. I'm not gonna click the big blue button. I'm going to go right below it at get PDF forms package. And say, for example, sake, if you have several forms that the client missed, you can actually remove some of these and then, you know, send out the ones that are all together by hitting print and it'll pull up the several forms that you had requested. So you can minus some, add some and, and make it a, a bundled package so it all comes together. So... Um, just a great resource for you to add, get all your forms in one place. Uh, if not, you can always ask your case manager to email you a specific form, but just be aware, she'll probably tell you you can get them online as well for future reference. So this is me helping you, uh, helping her. So tools and resources. Then we have online contracting. So normally when I onboard people, I send them an email with a welcome letter and everything. And what it does is it skips all of this, but if for example sake, you get past that initial stage, you're already in, you're contracted with some carriers, or I just tell you to go to this site, I went to tools and resources, online contracting and contract online with Sure LC, it'll bring it up. It'll say three mark financial at the top. I'm gonna log in. And on this site is where you'll put all your information on how you wanna get paid and when you wanna get requests for contracts. So if for example, say I'm doing business as an entity, then I would put business entity. If I ran a company and I wanted all my, all the commissions to flow to me, and then I would pay my agents individually, I would be set up as a business entity and then my agents would come in as LOA. So it's a different animal. LOA means someone else other than the carrier is paying you. If you want to go in by yourself, not as a business entity, you would just go in as individual. Either way, when you do it, you're going to have to put your banking information in. So if you're set up as an entity, you're going to have to have a voided check that will have the entity information. Um, if you have your licenses, you're going to have to enter them in here, uh, or NIPR will actually find them based off of your social. If you're FINRA licensed, you'll have to put that information in here. 
Uh, you'll have the fun questions, your history, your CE is pretty important as well. So if you have CE done, wherever you have it done through, say Web CE, it would have it pulled up automatically or you could add a certificate. A lot of people like doing LIMRA because then you just link it to the LIMRA site, but LIMRA does not have certificates like Web CE does. I've always liked Web CE. Some people like LIMRA. It's completely up to you. But you'll also more than likely have to do your best interest. So if you're selling annuities, you'll have to do your best interest for the annuities. They'll kind of co-mingle together. I believe it's a four-hour course or eight hours. I don't quite remember. Um, and then last but not least, your e &O. You do have to get e &O. You have to upload it in here and keep it current. And then you want to get signed up with a carrier. You hit request. You create request. And then we have a whole slew of carriers at your fingertips. So I've gotten a bunch of them already. But, you know, I have a select group that I usually favor. So if we've talked before, you'll know why. But they're all in here. And you just go through the process, ask, answer the questions they ask you. Next, next, next. And it will go in for processing and sent off to the insurance company. Now, keep in mind, some carriers will give you a pending until business comes in. So they won't give you a code until you actually are writing business. So that saves them the processing fees with the state. Uh, it also saves uh, three mark because it's about eight and a quarter every time someone gets set up. So needless to say, if you're just starting out, do not get appointed with 30 carriers because most of them will either not appoint you yet or they'll wait uh, or they'll cancel your contract after a year if you haven't submitted business to them. So it's not worth it, uh, especially because when you're submitting business, like when it says, if I say, for example, sake, I get appointed with John Hancock in here. And then immediately I go to IGO and I start submitting an application. I'll ask for my code. I can put pending. Uh, as long as it's not Pennsylvania, pretty much the rest of the United States is on time appointment. So it'll appoint me as long as I'm registered in that state, it will give me an appointment at the exact same time I'm submitting the business. So you shouldn't have any issues with licensing. There's a lot I said there. So once again, if you do have any questions throughout this, please, please, please put them in the Q&A. So now if I went to my cases, if I click here, and then I'm not going to go into it to protect the clients and the agents I already have who have cases in here because this is kind of a master account. But I would hit Access Smart Office, and it would pull up all my cases from all the individual carriers. So they'll all be in one spot. Now, underwriting resources, as you can see, there's different ways that you have to look for underwriting. We have international clients. So this is a pretty popular one. A lot of who I deal with have some foreign national uh, piece to them. So going in here and seeing all the different foreign national guidelines that each carrier has in one spot. Uh, I wouldn't mess with Global because they're exiting the life business uh, very soon. Hancock, Symmetra, Lincoln, all these companies have all their foreign national guidelines in one spot. If I go to underwriting and impaired risk, this is a really cool feature. So if you want to find out the non-med rules, who has the right non-med or automated underwriting, it's here. So you'll see there's carrier-specific underwriting guidelines, strategic underwriting program. This was a uh, Zoom that uh, 3Mark put on earlier. A really great story if you want to just uh, use RGA, which is a, a, um, a reinsurance company, and then you can just pick which carriers they work with and get approved. If you want to learn more about that, just ask me. We'll talk about X-Ray in a second, but if I go to Intel, and then I go to these IntelliSheets. This is a new feature added. So if I want to see, for example, sake the non-med or automated underwriting or accelerated underwriting, I'll check the box here. 
I'll check all carriers and then I'll hit view selected carriers or IntelliSheet. And what it'll do is it'll either pull them in here or if I want it on an Excel, I can pop up the Excel and I can go through and see all the different carriers, non-med opportunities, max face amount, products, risk classes that are available in one spot. So it has them all right here. Not going to go through them all, but you know you have a, a robust opportunity from this standpoint. And as you can see, there's a ton of different options here. Term conversions, blood pressure, cholesterol, cognitive testing. If you're dealing with an older clientele, that one might be a really good one to use. Uh, marijuana use, ProBNP use, few carriers who use ProBNP, tobacco usage or table shades. These are all great things to understand. And it's all in one spot. Once again, in IntelliSheets, once again, Underwriting resources, impaired risk. You start out here. I clicked on Intel and clicked on IntelliSheets. If you want a quick snapshot of impairment niches, you can also do this. And you'll see where certain carriers have a better opportunity than others in certain places. So some of the people that I work a lot with uh, fall in the diabetes category or touch of the sugar. So Columbus, Hancock, Banner, Lincoln, and Prudential kind of fall within that realm. Uh, if it's a larger case, I had Symmetra give a really good offer uh, on a $10 million policy. Uh, you got liver function tests, other tobacco. So if you smoke, uh, cigars, pipes, dip, chew, snuff, Chantix, uh, with the positive urinalysis, you can still get a negative or a non-tobacco risk class with these carriers, as long as you stay on the app, cigar, dip, two, snuff. So there's situations where you have to make sure you disclose it on the application and you can still get non-medic, or you can still get non-tobacco. And then when we have tools and resources here, you also have this thing called X-Ray. So if we go into X-Ray, I'm not going to, like, if you need to, for example, say, get set up with X-Ray, just click here. Sandra Hernandez, not him. Sandra Hernandez would be the one who could help you get set up with X-Ray if you've never done it before. But X-Ray is a great tool. Say you log in and say, for example, sake, I wanted to create a new case where I would just put my information in. 12, 22, 1981. Face amount, $1 million. And if I did nothing, then I could hit search underwriting here and it'll give me the exact same thing I did under vital quote. But if I had additional information like height, we'll just say 6'1. And just for fun, because I'm not going to get my real weight, 250, uh, chest exceeds waist, sure. Um, and then next, ever use tobacco? No. Next, family history, no, 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 no. And then next, so it's going through all the questions. I just had my medical recently, so I know what I got. I don't know everything, so I'm going to tell them to take a medication. I started, I don't know, uh, 1996. Control date, 1996. And we'll just keep going with that. So it's going to understand that I'm taking a medication for that. Now let's just say I don't want to go through the rest of them. I can hit search underwriting, and it'll take the data that I gave it and provide standard plus, super standard non-tobacco, non-smoker plus, select non-nicotine, so I'm in the range of standard non-tobacco. So if you have a client who thinks they're preferred plus, but you know they're not, take them through this exercise so they understand that it might not be the right thing. Now, if through this questionnaire, for example, sake, if I went down to medical conditions and I added some more information in, so say type two diabetic, enter information, um, type 2 diabetes, uh, diagnosed, 
on January uh, 2021. A1C is seven, or you know, seven, taking metformin. I spelled that wrong. Metformin, 500 milligrams per day. Now, this will sway the entire thing. But because I'm entering in manual data, it'll ask for some additional questions. I can choose to skip that. I can't choose to skip that. January 2021, A1C was seven. Complications, no. Currently treated, yes. 500. And then it'll go back to case summary and it'll put all the information here for me to search underwriting. And if I don't like the carriers that it gives me here, then what will happen is it will actually build out a profile for me to do messaging. And I'm going to send it to Karen Shields, who will see all the information typed up, and then she sends it to the world. And in about five business days, you'll get emails back from her saying, this carrier said standard, this carrier said declined, this carrier said preferred. And then you can run the illustrations based off of the tentative rates that they give you. So you have an idea who wants the business and you can submit it with better confidence than just throwing in an application with one carrier. That doesn't work, all right, let's do this one. Let's do this one. This is how you work smarter, not harder and find the opportunity that's right for the client right up front and they can expect what they're supposed to expect versus, you know, a possible issue down the road. So x-ray is a really cool tool, especially if you have some client who has some problems, it's a great way to overcome that. The last thing I'll show you here uh, is the annuities tab. So under products and solutions, if I go to annuities tab, as I mentioned before, we have a great resource in Bo Bluen who's right here. I worked with him in a prior life, but he's a, a killer annuity guy and help you out, help run the quotes if you need them to. Uh, you have the MIGAs right here, so you can see the current MIGA rates. Uh, you can also, oh, oh, I guess we already have Firelight. So this is breaking news for me. Uh, we have Firelight that's in the system. So awesome. So new, uh, new development today. Don't know exactly when we got this, but awesome. Um, but resources and quotes, if I wanted to go to Rate Watch, this is a really cool opportunity to see all the different uh, IUL uh, index annuities that are available. If you need to get uh, training done for each carrier, they all have their separate trainings. You just have to go to their product training and they'll tell you exactly what you need to do. Uh, so really, they've, they've put a brochure or booklet together to get you set up to get the annuities rocking and rolling right off the bat. So to kind of recap what we talked about today, because I know I went through a lot in a 40-minute span here, talked about the carriers, what carriers you have at your fingertips, talked about why 3Mark and the ability of having all those carriers at your fingertips. Your quoting platform, you have term and uh, GUL in one spot. We're going to do the wind flex later. Uh, requesting annuity quotes, you got to go to Bo right there. Um, DI quotes, North Central, LTC. We have the senior markets people. Tools and resources, the forms and IGO and online contracting are the main ones. You can also check out the modules. All your cases will be in one spot so you can manage your business. You can see what's going on with your cases. Underwriting resources, international clients, impaired risk, x-ray, all great opportunities. DocFast, I forgot to mention, if your carrier goes through DocFast like Lincoln does, this is where you would click on it to approve the, the case to move it to um, the client so they can sign off on the information. And so, yeah, there's just a lot here. Uh, figured it would be good to start. Now, next week, uh, what we'll focus on at that point 
is the next step up. We'll talk about the wealth, how to illustrate the wealth, and how you can take that to market, how to ask the right questions to get the right IULs for your clients. So um, with that, I'll stop the recording and see if there's any additional.